Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Encito, and this is my first ever What's in My Paintball Bag. And, you know, for a while I've been looking for, you know, a small bag for a single kit for a while now. And uh, the ones that I've seen, you know, weren't bad, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Uh, when I was strolling through Best Buy, went through the bag section and found this. So this is a Thule crossover, 40 liter. And, you know, what I dig about this bag, it's, you know, it's, it's long, it's tall. And uh, inside of it, you know, the lining is, uh, you know, real easy to clean if you ever get any oil or dirt or some kind of residue like that uh, inside your bag for some reason. Um, but I've been seriously happy with this bag and, you know, uh, I, I I hope you guys, you know, stroll by someplace with uh, Thule products and check it out for yourself. Um, so let's start off with this. So it's got four pockets, one main one right here. Um, two side pockets that run the length of the bag and then a small hard shell packet or pocket um, right up top it's got these uh, two handles right here so if you want to grab the bag from here you know you could or you could actually grab it from here as well two handles on the side uh, which I use to utilize this bag in my um, pod pack so let's start off with the side pockets So you see the pocket, it's got a mesh pocket right here as well, and it runs the entire length of the bag. You know, and this is that lining that I was talking about. This is a fairly easy to clean. And on the other side, it's, it's exactly the same, and that's where I hold my elbow pads. So on the end of the bags, um, there's these two handles that I utilize for um, start work right here, my little tiny camera bag that I use for tools and uh, just other small doodads, cleaners, and business cards and whatnot. Um, that's all in here on the very bottom. On the top handle, I hang my pod pack. And it's, a, you know, kind of cool place for it. You know, it's, that way it's uh, totally out of the way. And I don't have to wear it around my waist as I'm walking around. In this main pocket here, nice big opening like that. Um, I've got this little pouch here that I, it actually is an insert from one of my older camera bags and it houses my hopper, uh, my tank, which is a 77, same size as 68, about, uh, barrel maids, and my gloves. And I, I kind of like this because one, it keeps it nice and protected and keeps everything together, you know, if I need to get into the bag right away for, you know, some particular reason. I've got this uh, old Beats. Um, case and I house my GoPro and whatever accessories that I have in here you know it's got the little divider inside there and some pockets to help keep things uh, in line I've also got my lens bag uh, which I don't use and I've got my radar and then uh, some cleaners I've also got my spare lens which is wrapped around the, the hard case right here, so it keeps it it keeps its shape. I've also got my mask right here, and then uh, rags and microfiber right inside there, so it uh, also keeps its shape. Um, got my marker, which is right there. It's nice and neat, especially the width. It's just perfect even on the wide side. Then the very bottom, I got my mat, which fits perfect, like it was made for this. And everything goes in here nice and neat and even when with all this stuff inside of it you can also fit even more really I mean you still have a quarter of the space left maybe a little bit less than that to you know fit maybe your jersey or your pants if you roll it up nice and tight uh, but the problem that I had was it got really bulky and rounded so it was it, it was decent it was okay but you know uh, typically I'll just wear my pants anyways and my jersey <laughs> So we'll flip this around, I'll show you the front. So the front of the bag, which is actually the bottom, is this rubber feet. So, you know, you place it on a table or wherever it keeps it, you know, somewhat gripped. And on the top part of the bag, um, you've got this top case. And it's got a hard shell lid, hard shell insert, which you could actually take off. But I, I keep it in there so it keeps its form on the inside for my lens. 
And, you know, this is where I hold all my miscellaneous stuff. You know, uh, you can, I think you, this was actually made for maybe snowboarding, I'm going to assume. Or skiing, and you could actually put your goggles right inside of there. Nice and neat. And this side right here, this side pocket, are my arm pads. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and uh, again, this is the Thule crossover 40 liter, and for me it works out just fine. You know, um, this is my bag to get from point A to point B, or do some traveling or whatnot. If I don't want to carry uh, my bigger bag, my Eclipse uh, kit bag, um, typically I'll bring both. That way I've got backup, and if uh, any of my friends need uh, some equipment, I'll have it there with me. You know, and uh, this right here, I just have, you know, the kit for myself. So anyways, you guys enjoy yourself and hope this helps with uh, your choice for bags and uh, what you need. So you guys take care. Peace.